Hold on, I got this. Okay, whatever. Sorry, I hate shit in my teeth. Anyways, hey, what's up, YouTube? So, uh, trying to get back on track and post videos once more. I got a request from Invertebrate Dude. He wanted me to post a video on Amblichyla hoversana. He specifically wanted the larva, but the larva kind of just like live in dirt jars. And I, I don't think I really want to see dirt jars. So, I'll show you some of my captive adults. These are the last two I have. They're... I think they're both males. So my last female. But anyways, this is the largest uh, tiger beetle in the Western Hemisphere. The only other tiger beetle larger than this is Manticora, which is actually the largest tiger beetle in the world. Max, uh, max size for these things are forty-three millimeters. These are about 39, 38. So they can get quite a bit bigger. I figured I'd show y'all some of them eating. Because it's a pretty cool sight to watch them just hunt down a cricket. And murder it. And later I'll look at the larva. But for now it's just being an Amlichyla. Uh, what the? I don't know what I'm talking about. Amlichyla uh, uh, feeding video. These, I don't normally have them for sale because they're really hard to find in the first place. They're, they're not a common bug. It's not a common bug. You're not just going to go outside and find one by accident. Actually, I take it back. That's probably the... Man, the crew got away. That's probably the most likely way to ever find one. Is to go outside and accidentally find them. Their range is specifically only south. And it's probably all the way from about Brownsville, South Texas. All the way to... Mm, I say Del Rio. Damn it. That's two crickets. <sighs> Ah, oh, I see it. Bro. Alright. So let's see how fast they can murder the cricket. Not very smart. I don't even know. I think it's a stick. I swear they just picked up a stick. Where the hell could you go? Oh, there it is. Got it. Jeez, man, they're vicious. <clears throat> That's what they do. So... I normally feed my adults. Mm. How often do I feed them? Anywhere between one and two times a week. I feed them pretty much whatever they can take down. So, uh, I've actually fed them. What the hell? Is it? Oh, shit, damn it. Hey, crickets. I fed them, uh, I don't know what the hell they're called. Wall geckos? Just geckos. The ones you find in your wall. I've fed them those before. Believe it or not, they've actually got them. Well, there goes all my crickets. I guess they're just going to starve. They've actually taken down wall geckos, so that's pretty impressive. That's probably the skeleton of one right there. That is. That's disgusting. I need to clean it. As for breeding, they just lay their eggs like randomly in the dirt. But it has to be wet. If it's not wet, they won't lay them. So, I think I only have three larvae left. Here's one dirt jar. Ah, shit. You can see the hole at the top and the cricket that it ate. That's where they live. That was a wild caught one, I think, actually. So, here's another one. You can't really see the hole, but it's there. And then I have another one somewhere else. So that's it for Amla Kyla. Hopefully one day I'll be uh, 
breeding these in mass production, not necessarily mass production, but in a higher quantity so they can become available. There's a lot of other species of Amlichai in the United States, such as uh, Amlichai sorgi, which is from Southern California, Amlichai cylindriformis, which is like the whole entire western United States, Amlichai Broni, which is from, uh, what's that, uh, Arizona, and Amlichai piccolo mini from hmm, where is it from it's like all the way from arizona to west texas yeah west texas including new mexico and i don't know the mexican species i think there's only two species in mexico one is amlichyla nix and the other one i can't remember and i have no clue where either one of those are found anyways so just let y'all know so I don't know, maybe one of you will find one someday. Anyways, thanks for watching. Peace out, like, subscribe.